that good health is something a lot of healthy people take for granted. I definitely did. I used to be the kind of person who would just forget to eat and easily only go by with one to two meals a day. One of which would usually just be cereal as well. I lived like this for such a long time, and it wasn't until I became vegetarian on top of this that some changes slowly started to happen. Anyone else here who's vegetarian or vegan might know where this is going. It wasn't really obvious that there was anything wrong with me. A couple of things did happen, like, I remember carrying two bedside tables with Jordan from one room of the house to another, and being so tired after that that I just laid down on the floor completely out of breath. It was just two bedside tables, one after the other, and I wasn't even carrying them alone. At the time, I thought that it must just be because I'm unfit, so I tried really hard to get back into shape again. Jordan and I started going for runs every single day. I am honestly not a big fan of going for runs, but I did my best. Every single time though, I'd have to stop because I'd get these really painful cramps. I thought that this was also from being unfit, but time was passing and it wasn't getting any easier. While this was happening, I started to notice that appearance-wise I was looking worse and worse as well. I didn't really look like myself anymore. My skin looked tired and pale. Yes, even more pale than it is now. The worst thing was my hair though. I've always had really thick hair, and I don't know at what point this started changing, but all of a sudden my hair was becoming really, really thin, to the point where I felt really self-conscious about it. I didn't want to tie it up anymore because I felt bad about how small my ponytail had become. I was starting to feel like I'd rather wear a wig in my everyday life. I didn't know what was happening, but I thought that maybe it could be from stress. In Australia at the time, we'd only just gotten through a couple months of bushfires and constant smoke every day, which had been really scary and I thought maybe that was the reason. And that's also what I expected the doctor to tell me when I went in for a blood test. I definitely wasn't expecting to hear what he actually had to tell me. You have iron deficiency anemia. Your iron levels are dangerously low. A very quick and basic explanation of this is that if you don't have enough iron then you can't produce enough red blood cells which is what carries the oxygen around your body. This is kind of important. There are a lot of symptoms that come with anemia. Mine came along so gradually that I just didn't notice until it got to this point. Since my results were so bad, I was told that I'd need to get an iron infusion. This is basically where they put you on a drip and infuse iron directly into your blood. These usually take about half an hour, and for me, the kind of person who is very scared of needles, the thought of sitting with a needle sticking into my arm for half an hour terrified me. Especially since I was told that one of the risks about getting an iron infusion is that you could get a huge permanent stain on your arm. At first, I completely refused to do it. I was so scared of it and desperately wanted to find another way to get better. The doctor didn't recommend going on iron supplements to fix it because it would take so much longer. The biggest issue was that this happened right as COVID first became a thing. I was told that if I happened to catch COVID while my body was this week, it probably would have killed me. So I didn't really have any choice but to go through with the treatment. This was the first time in my life that I'd ever had any real health scare, and I was so annoyed at myself for not being able to pick up on any of the signs before that. By the time I went in for my iron infusion, I had about a quarter of my hair left, and I was feeling really sad and really scared. It was the longest half an hour of my life. I can't even begin to tell you the amount of relief I felt once it was finally done. I didn't want to be in any photos or anything for a really long time because I just felt upset seeing myself. Healing from this was a very long process. It took my hair over a year to grow back, and it was growing back in such an awkward way that most days I just resorted to wearing a hat instead. I even went and bought a wig that looked similar to my hair because I thought maybe I could just wear that every day instead, but I actually didn't end up using it. Most of you guys already know that I'm very 
very shy and extremely self-conscious, and throughout the entire time that this was going on was definitely my lowest point. Losing my hair was a really tough experience for me. And now, almost a year and a half later, I'm really glad to be looking almost 100% back to normal. And I'm definitely being a lot more conscious of what I eat. I really didn't want to talk about any of the changes that I was going through or even make any kind of reference to it at all on my channel, especially as I was going through it because I really didn't want to make anybody worry. I was really hesitant on making a video about it at all, but I thought it might help anyone who was going through a similar situation. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as I have a lot more animated storytime videos coming out very soon. Thank you for watching! Bye!